thank you very much, everybody. We are about to recommence. Um, my name is Sarah Kastiti, I work as a postdoc at the Department for Computer Science in ST, and I have the pleasure to introduce to you Niels Christian Andersen. And Niels is the head of faculty for science and technology. And Niels received his PhD in, from the Aarhus University in 1990 and continued his academic career first as an assistant professor and then an associate professor. And in 2004, he became a full professor for the um, Department of Chemistry. So his, his research is on the development and use of nu nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, uh, which enables visualization of molecules with a degree of detail that you can actually see the individual atoms. Um, he has also had more than 200 publications and has received prestigious um, research prizes and has also scored substantial research funding. He's also been an active figure in research policy uh, through a number of funds, boards, and councils. Most recently, the Danish research policy, uh, research, Danish, Denmark's Research Policy Council. Niels grew up on a farm, and true to um, Hans Christian Andersen's saying about being born in Orchard, he became knighted by the Queen of Denmark in 19, uh, 2009. Fun fact, his two brothers also work for the Aarhus University, and his twin brother is professor for medicine. Um, today, Niels will give us some updates on the AU actions plan for more women in research, and maybe also what we're going to do about these pressing numbers that we just saw previously in the previous talk. So please join me in welcoming Niels Kastena. Yes. Thank you very much for this very kind introduction, uh, also detailing many aspects. Uh, I'll not cover all of it. Uh, I would actually be tempted to take a basic lecture in MMR spectroscopy, but uh, I think that would not be appropriate here. I think we should address what is the topic of the, of the conference. So first of all, I would like to thank the organizers, uh, the Junior Research Association, for actually taking the initiative to take this conference on a topic that is extremely important, very, very important that we address this. Also, we not only discuss it, but we will also try to get some solutions, try to get some actions, uh, uh, so, so I think it is extremely important. So thank you very much for taking this initiative and also for inviting me as the sole male speaker today. <laughs> so that's very good. So the title of, the, uh, of, of my presentation is uh, uh, what is the station on Aarhus University's action? So what I'm talking about is not only what it is at ST, but a science and technology, but also in a more broad, 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 broad sense. And uh, the subtitle, and I think I'm not sure I invented that myself, but, but let's address it anyway. What and why things have slash not uh, been done. Uh, we're trying to do a lot of things, but, but obviously the status could indicate that we should do even more. So I think that's probably appropriate. And then I have a hope that is this one uh, Connected to something? There it is, and that should be where? There? Wow, a tinkle. <laughs> yes, so uh, why are we addressing this? Well, that is because it is simply a necessity to actually handle uh, the challenges if we do not bring in female talent, uh, then we, we, we lose uh, on all parameters. Uh, we lose on uh, the work environment. Uh, we lose on the quality of the science. Uh, we lose on education. We lose on innovation. Uh, we, we, we lose also in having an attractive place to work. Uh, all of these things are obviously extremely important. So if you look at it from an organization point of view, can you afford not to work on better science, better education, better innovation, and the parameters we try to measure on? And I think the simple answer to this is no. We have to address this. And what we do today is not sufficiently uh, 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 living up to, 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 these, to, to these goals. 
I think what we should work on is diversity in a bro broader sense. We should have more female in, we should have more international people in, we should have more ethnicities in. We have to work on a diverse faculty in all, or in all branches. And there's actually measurements that shows that if you don't do what is easiest, that is to work with those you know, those that has the same name, I think. I'm in a population of many Nilsons, so I could select only to work with Nilsons, but the quality would not be very good. We have to work with people of different genders, different international states. So this is very important. Measure shows this. So the first slide is the easy one. There's no doubt that we should handle this with uh, curiosity. So all university has for a long time, and that's often if I say it's for a long time, then you also request that we have good results because working a long time, then you should also be able to show that you have good results. But I have to be honest here and say, when I entered as dean in 2013, I was already working on, people were working on trying to establish action plans for Aarhus University to, to do this. And there was an action plan that took a while to set up. 2016, we were set up an action plan on Aarhus University from 2016 to 2020. That is broad, it has a lot of topics, what can we do? And it was debated a lot, what, what is the actual problem and what can we actually do about it? So before we make an action plan, obviously you have to understand the problem. Um, that is different from different departments, uh, from different faculties, uh, because actually there's some departments we actually don't have a problem. Uh, there's actually a completely equal gender population. But there's definitely also departments where it's not the case. And if you take the overall average, there's lots of you, uh, females. But what I'm saying with this is the action plans has to be different depending on what is the, what is the, 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 the actual issue. If we take in, 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 in science and technology, if we uh, look into a department of animal science, there's a lot of females that actually could have the reverse problem, but, but, but there should be more males in. I'm not saying we should do that. I'm just saying it's very, if you take computer science and mathematics, these more tough uh, natural science disciplines, obviously it's very, a very different picture. So it, it's, it's very diverse. And that means also that, that when we put uh, targets in, we put ambitions in, that they, that there's a diversity over the university we have to take into account. There is a managerial focus on this. There is a yearly follow-up on the gender balance and, 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 and following up on, on, on the individual targets. Uh, there is yearly discussions uh, taking place in, in all the councils that we have because this is a broad issue and we are trying to take it up in, in, in all the fora we have uh, for two reasons. Obviously to inform what is going on. That is always important. You have to do this. This is an important issue. But I think also this dialogue actually also pushes us to well, it's not fun to present too many times that you don't receive any, uh, you don't reach the goals. So, so I think that's also to keep us up to, 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 to focus. So overall, at Aarhus University, there's a lot of uh, attention on this. And what is the, the focus? Obviously, if the leadership is not taking it serious, then that could be a risk. It will not be taken serious. So that's one of the things. Then we have a lot of focus on the input. Uh, we have the composition of the faculties as they are now in the sense that most of the faculty is recruited. That's why it's the faculty. So, 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 so we, we don't go out to, to fire people to, to change the gender balance. So, 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 so obviously you have to, to look at the input. The input is uh, recruitment and, uh, and, and how you employ people. How do you make career tracks? How do you make uh, it, it uh, attractive to, 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 to come in? and also what do we do actually in the recruitment process. So the input is important. Then it's also important that you do some internal actions. Uh, that is uh, talent development. It's also uh, in particular in the environments where there's a, a, a huge uh, difference in, in genders. Uh, then obviously you also need to work on, on, on culture. You need to work on that it is actually attractive. Uh, it's not sufficient that we go out and say, you should be employed here. As is, is, Employment contracts is dual. Uh, obviously, the one we try to employ also had to say, yes, I actually want to be employed there. So we also have to work on the culture. We have to work on making an attractive workplace for, free, uh, for, 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 for women. Uh, that, I, I think actually that, that is an extremely important point because if you think the environment is not attractive, uh, then you don't come. Then we can do whatever we do with the, with, with the recruitments. 
Then we also look at mobility. I think uh, there's also, uh, and I think uh, now, I, unfortunately, I didn't hear uh, Kain's uh, presentation, but, 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 but it's also very important that you consider that, that you don't change it if you do what you always always has done, and if you don't uh, have open calls, if you have only one applicant for each position and things like that, then, then you don't have, have influx, you don't have uh, something that changes the picture. So that is also very important. So mobility on all aspects is very important. And then removing barriers. It's obviously when we recruit, there could be special issues as, 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 as uh, if you have a pregnancy and things like that, but it's different between genders. So obviously we also have to make sure that we remove barriers where you say, instead of I just have a career track where you just publish such and such, you have to consider the elements that there could be periods of your life where you, before you be, get, get attracted to a position, you don't have the same ability to, 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 to deliver on, on, on normal parameters, but also while you're you're high. There's differences and we have to cope with this. So if we address recruitment, we have tried to put up some norms uh, for recruitment. And that's, that's uh, the reason for bringing this up here is that, that some of these are, 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 are important here. Uh, some of them you might say is counterbalancing. Uh, so, so I'm trying to, to take the overall picture here. And, and obviously the first thing is we need to have many applicants for all positions. It has to be open calls, it has to be calls that is not tied down to a specific topic saying we only hire this person that has qualification X, Y, Z, etc. Uh, et that means eventually that there's only one applicant. So broad open advertisements, that is very important. Search committees. If you look into other areas, if you look into industry, if you look into football, if you look into to, to other areas, uh, not to compare with football, I'm just saying that it is also very important that we don't only just have an advertisement somewhere, it's also important that we are active, that we actually go out and identify the talent that is present out there. And you can say now if you are in areas where there's globally is few females, then obviously it's more difficult, but you have to be active to go out and find them and actually encourage them to apply. So it's not sufficient just to have open open course. You also need to have recruitment committees, and that's something we gradually have established over the first uh, the last uh, past, uh, couple of years, uh, and it's, uh, at least in our faculty, also in other faculties. So we don't see the effect yet. Readdressment: if there's too few qualified applicants, I think that also addresses something that uh, the Karen uh, said. Now, if there's only one applicant, that, in my opinion, the qualified applicant, then in my opinion, that's not enough. Uh, Members of assessment committees should be external. I think that's also important here because you all need to have a diverse uh, uh, assessment committees. Uh, also, the gender issues there is also important. So, 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 but but, but uh, that it has to be external. That also means that we put them up with a different balance than we have at present. Professorships, uh, uh, we are sitting in the appointment committees, so we actually look at what is happening. Uh, uh, we uh, look into long-term stays at international topics. So that's something that debated a lot, is that an advantage or not, but I think mobility is extremely important here. Internal candidates cannot be promoted to permanent positions without winning an open competition. That means eventually promotion. Obviously, one could say that's two sides of this. Should we prevent, prevent pro promotion? No, no, we should actually have a good faculty, so we also should have progression. But now, if all the openings actually are, are promotions, then there's not coming people in. So it has to be an open, an open course. So that's some of the things we do on the employment side. Then we look at the statistics. Uh, how does it look at the university level? And I know there was shown some graphs earlier on, and, but it's not exactly these. OK. I apologize, these are in, in Danish in, in this. Let's explain how, how this is. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, PhDs, postdocs, then it's as, assistant professor, associate professors, uh, professorships of different kinds with special application or normal professorships. Uh, and, 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 and here, and this one, that's the years. Obviously, we had a plan that goes out to 2020, so I apologize. We don't have the numbers for the last ones, but that means we have the ambition to follow this also for the coming years. <laughs> Green means that we have balance. Then obviously one can discuss is balance, how we define it. I think we define balance as if you have between 40 and 60% who goes in both directions, females, then it's balance. 
you might argue it should be strictly 50-50 or so. That's what we consider balance. That's when it's green. When it's red, it's below 30%. So if you look at the graph here, it's just look at the colors, don't dig in all the numbers here. You'll say, where it's green, we don't have so much of a problem. You'll see some progress here. But where we have the major progress is in the initial layers of the career ladder. That means at the PhD, postdoc, uh, 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 associate professors there, it seems that there's, uh, there's a less of a problem. But now if you go down to the, to, to the end uh, of, of the careers, uh, there you also have to consider here the end of the careers is also many of those is progressed by hirings that was earlier on. So there's also a history dimension in this. So, so, so that it is here uh, is not the... So, 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 so puzzling, because now if you had a policy that was even worse than we have today, that, then you'll see that in the latter categories. That's not to excuse it. I'm just saying the major problem we have is here. That's not the same as we don't have problems here. Also, we can do it better. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know whether it's okay, but I'm just saying you understand it. You, well, you receive the facts. Uh, that, that's the one. So, so. Good. So, uh, so uh, then, then if we if we if we look at the at, at the at the appointments. So, the, so this one here was the status. That's that's the population we're talking about. This one here is what is happening on the appointments. Again, saying uh, we don't fire to get a better gender balance. So, so, so it's the input that is uh, is important to look at. Well, then you get the same colors. It's sort of the same, 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 same diagram, and and, and there, there you might say, well, that should should obviously be much more green. That's the way to change it, and it is not. Uh, uh, we have some yellow, red, uh, 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 yellow, green type of things coming down to the last ones here. So, 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 so there is something happening. Uh, but it is uh, going, going, going slowly. We have uh, this one here, so, 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 so it's less red, uh, but it's going, it's going, it's going, it's not going uh, extremely fast. Then you also have to look at how many do we actually influx. Uh, that's, that's also an issue. And where do we influx people? And that could explain some of the things. It's not an excuse. But now, if you, for example, look at the different faculties, and we'll have these graphs a little bit later on, then obviously you say now, if you take big initiatives like you're hiring much more digitization people and much more engineers, then obviously you don't make it easier to achieve the overall numbers here, make them, make them looking better because you actually are digging into the more complex areas. But this is how the numbers are, and obviously what we strive to is to get these numbers more and more green here, so that is the action plan. I'm showing you the numbers that is present. This one is very much red. Uh, it's just there's obviously different different places you can look into <coughs> hiring committees. If you don't have a equal gender balance in the hiring committees, it could be you have a bias. I'm not saying that this is necessarily so that if there's not a gender balance, that you make wrong decisions. I'm just saying one of the things you could look at. There you have an, an issue. Uh, actually, you start to get, get actually, uh, actually uh, yellow here at, 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 the, at the professor level. I think actually that, that is positive. That is, uh, that's, uh, and you should consider uh, in, the, in, in these areas here, we didn't have so much of a problem because these were green. So I think now if one should digest the colors here a little bit, I'll say this is not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is what we're doing here. And actually here you see some some changes, some moves that we actually are at the various departments uh, focused on that we need to have a reasonable gender balance in the conferences. One, one, one problem with these committees here is that if you have a very skewed gender balance at the departments, could be 10% female, and you did this. But a lot of the assessment committees have three members. And one is a woman. Then you have the yellow. How can you? So it never becomes green if you have three members. But, but, but I think in many cases it's more than three. Uh, so, 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 so it depends from faculty to faculty, from department to department, how many you have. But, but you're right. There's, there's a measure. There's a measure issue. I, but what, 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 I, I agree. 
what I would want like to address is that this is a balance because we actually in all committees, everything we do, we, we should have females, we should have gender balance in all our committees. Uh, but, 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 but the problem there is if you're in areas where there's only 10% females and they should sit in all committees, uh, then we don't make a very attractive workplace because they are completely they come in and, and most of the time is, is sitting in committees. So, so it's something we have to do with balance. So, so, so what I'm, I'm saying is that the, the, the factors are trying to make this more equal, but I'm just saying it can be difficult in different places. Yes? Um, just a quick question. Is there now a rule where in the assessment committees no. there must be no. at least one woman? There's no rules yet. Uh, we could be, we should play. What we do right now is we set the targets and we have the expectation it works. And uh, when, when it doesn't work, then obviously as management, we have to be tougher and tougher. It, we, we could also put the request that uh, in the search committees we need to have exposed female applicants for all positions. That rule you could invoke. It could be at some time we need to invoke that rule. If we don't move the numbers, then it could be we have to do things like that. We did do that first. We took sort of the strategy and, 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 and the management plan from the various departments and said, well, that is your solution to this and we actually respect uh, that, that this is what you put in, 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 in place and we obviously look at you whether you receive the goals. So, not yet. It could be we need it. Then there's, a, as I mentioned, last uh, differences between faculties. I'll show this. Uh, 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 there's also within the faculties very much uh, a difference between the departments. Um, and even some departments uh, need to more male resources to achieve gender uh, equality. That is not the most departments, I would say, though. So there's diversity. So if we look at arts, the same graphs, and now it gets smaller and smaller, but now you have learned the color coding, you have learned what is up and down. This is the years, this is the career ladder. So if you look at arts, I think the numbers is not looking uh, so bad. They do uh, a, a good job in, 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 in having uh, and including instead of competitive culture, they are not seem to make more female resources to apply for funding, etc., etc. So, 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 so here it doesn't look too bad. Also, uh, I should say they, they probably also started from a better starting point, but, 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 but still, that's not where it's worst. We have they are looking at uh, all the places here also and. Uh, so they are focused on it. If you look at the uh, business and social sciences, uh, it uh, is also pretty green everywhere, and they are also doing a, 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 a good job and, and have uh, something that comes close to balance. Uh, but again, here and here, it is on the most senior positions you have the biggest problem. It's still present, and they also have a number of primary action points. Uh, uh, on this faculty, uh, addressing specifically what 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 is the issues there? If you go from the not not uh, negatively speaking, but the more dry areas to the more wet areas, uh, uh, we start to see uh, increasing issues. Not least uh, not least if you come to to the final position. So this is for health. And they are also uh, 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 trying to address different things. Uh, and, and what you see in there, I'll not read all these up uh, for, for the various faculties, but everyone tackled it in a different way. And, and I think that's actually positive in the sense that they have different challenges at different faculties. Uh, 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 and obviously you need to, to address these issues by, 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 by respecting this diversity. I think this is, uh, this is very important. But here, 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 here it actually looks, looks, looks good, uh, uh, and I, what could be an explanation for, 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 for this is obviously now it also reflects a little bit what is the competition of those you educate. So it starts very early, it starts, uh, uh, well, you could say it starts already in the basic uh, school, it starts high school, it starts everywhere, so, so, so you have sort of a selection process. And in, in, in health, there's a, 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 I don't have the number, but there's a, definitely a lot of female uh, students. If you have a large number of talent growing up there, then obviously you also have more to more to pick from. Uh, so, so, so that means eventually that that, that you'll see effects from uh, from 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 this also. But definitely on the professor level, it's completely red, and that's not not good enough. Uh, then we don't take this slides. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, <laughs> and science and technology, this, this is obviously, we have, we have uh, the biggest issue. Uh, that comes from the natural consequence that if you look at also the student attraction to various studies, uh, it, gets, it gets more and more red the more you go to the hard core uh, 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 science areas. Uh, that's, that's, that, that, that's what we know. That means eventually there it's obviously more difficult and you see that all, all way through. You see it on the student level, you see it at the PhD level, you see it at the postdoc level, you see it everywhere. In some areas it is more difficult than, than others. So if you blend this in, then obviously at science technology you would also expect that's where you have the biggest chances. But that's not the same that that is acceptable because I see, you would put it the other way, it's us that loses most. This? I also think something is about work. Because when you write that ST is including many sciences in engineering, computer science, and digitalization, you indicate that that's only for men. Yeah. Uh, I know it's, most of the students or employees there is now is probably men, but it's. I also think there's something about how you put it that they it should also be for women. But you also said that. Computer science was, that was more tough. No, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> I think this here is to present you the numbers. It's not to make an advertisement. How, 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 I'm just trying to, 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 to say that you have more historical issues there. I, I, I agree. But I the word, but you see that all the way in the education system. You see it also earlier on. So, so, so you're completely right. We should have the right word. But it starts early. It starts in primary school. It starts very, very early. So now there's a lot of focus on STEM, uh, education lines, as the same uh, agenda. So it gets more, more, more easy from, from the influx. Yes? I have a different question. So one of the things that you've been showing us is that there are certain trends in the different uh, different schools at the university. And so at the adjunct level especially, what you have is huge fluctuations from year to year. So is this new recruitment that you're showing us? Yes. You have red, then you have yellow, then you have green, you have yellow, red again. This is a very different trend. So I was wondering if perhaps you could expand on why this might be. In some years you have gender balance and then in the next year you have a completely now, now, obviously, color coding here. Now, you, at the numbers, you can say there's fluctuations. Obviously, you have the risk that it goes from 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 39 percent to 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 40 percent, and then you still, it switch in color. Uh, they, 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 we, we, we follow these fluctuations. It's not such that we change policy from year to year, and then one year we are we are successful because we did something. We actually, we have a, a, a lot of continuous focus on 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 improving this. Uh, so, 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 so the fluctuations is something we read out uh, when we have higher people. That's, this is all, all the open. That's all the hirings. Yes. Uh, I just have a comment on the quote unquote harder sciences. I think it's a bit naive to go, oh, there are a lot of women in biology, because when we go to the professor level, we don't have. So we go from this majority in, in your undergrad and your PhD, and then you go to professor level, and that doesn't necessarily. That's not visible. And we've had a lot of women in biology across the world for a really long time, and it's still not reflecting in the professorship. So I think it might be a little naive to go, oh, well, we're getting a lot of women down here, so in a few years we're going to see it, because no. actually we don't see it here. Uh, that, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying we have the population that we can there, definitely, sure. definitely get from, and I think this, this is important. I'm, I'm not so naive that, that I say that. This is the same as we solve the problem with the career ladder within the university. That's one thing. Another thing that is important is that we make our positions sufficiently attractive that females actually want to apply for them. So, 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 th so that's so. so I, I, I'm not naive. I'm just saying, if if the pool to take from is bigger, then at least well, you could say you have least you have no excuse left because so 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 I'm not. I'm just putting the numbers up. I'm not trying to 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 to. to, to, to so I think the, the fair thing is to so see the numbers and then take action from the numbers. Yeah. And what I'm saying is that, that we have an issue here. This is not sufficiently good. I, I, I agree fully with what, with what you said. We have actually an even bigger problem if we have a big pool to take from. 
So, so uh, this one is, uh, is, 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 is our numbers, and there you can see that, that now the MSO is, is, is red, but we don't, it, it lasts, it doesn't hide anyone there. So, 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 so this is an excuse. I'm going to say it is on all the latter career steps we, 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 we have a problem. This is a serious problem, and I think we have to make much more effort in making the right image. Why is it attractive to be here? Because I think actually there's, it, it is just a matter. It's a matter of two sides. It could be the females that don't want us. It could be us that don't have the right processes to attract the females. Uh, I, I, but, but I think actually both goes back to us because if the females doesn't think it's a good place to make a career, then we don't get them, and we should work on this. So I don't try to be naive. I'm trying to I'm only trying to present the, the numbers. Can I ask a question? Yes. When you have the numbers for the postdoc and the, and the, 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 the junior researchers, do you, have you numbers on how long are those positions and who gets those positions? Postdoc positions are not necessarily three years, uh, and young positions are not necessarily three years. So, can you say something about that with your numbers? Who gets sort of the, the good positions, like the three year young position? and uh, and who is sort of jumping from position to position to position? <laughs> But, 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 I, I don't have the, the specific numbers here, but, 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 but obviously the, the typical postdoc period is, is something like two years. We don't have that actually in the normal, the way that we, we what we call the structure, what is that called? That's called... Uh, well, I don't know. The, the regulations, how we hire people in, 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 in universities, there's strict rules on how long time people can, can be in various steps. So you're not allowed to be postdoc for, for, for 10 years or something like that. You, you have to, this is typically four years, etc. You're allowed to set up a postdoc position for one year? Yes. Yeah. So, so what is your these numbers, how, what kind of positions do they reflect? Like it's eight months positions? Everything. And a half, all, all applicants. Everything? everything. So can you, can you gender balance those different kinds of positions or is it just... The, the short ones versus the long ones? Yeah. No, I don't have no. these numbers. Uh, it's not at present. Obviously, we can find them. Uh, but I, I don't... That would be really interesting to see. Um, we, 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 we can uh, find these numbers. We know what the contracts uh, are. We know who we hire. So, so, so obviously, we can find these numbers. I think, actually, I would, I would assume that there's no difference in between the population of postdocs that there's more females in the short periods and, 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 and males in the long. I, I wouldn't guess so, but obviously one could, could look. I think I see what one should look at is that the trend is also here. It is moving uh, positively in, 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 in the not permanent positions. I think the big barrier is to have, we want to, to move people. The associate, uh, assistant professor here, that, that covers two things. It covers committed assist professors, that is tenure track assistant professors, that is those that is on a track and also there is assistant professors that has not promised to be there. So I think what the barrier is, is exactly here, how do we get more female passing this barrier that goes from the loose positions to the permanent positions. That's where we have it, that's where you see the color shift. I don't think it's so much inside the various categories of postdocs or PhDs or I think it's this barrier that is the most important. Yes? But I wouldn't say that it's possible to, to distinct, make the distinction because as you also emphasized, if you have uh, one postdoc of one year and then you have to be prolonged and you have to be prolonged, those okay. are the factors that make people leave. Mm -hmm. yes. Many of those, at ST at least, most of these one here is driven by, 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 by external funding projects and they have a certain duration. Uh, so, so, so when you do this, it's not to break it up to small pieces, but it is because of the funding mechanism they are going in. They are part of research projects that is typically have a limited research, uh, a limited period. So, so, so there's no intention to have them short by, 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 by. by. I think it is a valid thing that maybe we should uh, the possibility to have a lo longitudinal approach and check what are the chances of successfully reach a permanent position yes. when you are in this university yes. and that is not really reflected here we know I mean we know the general but if, if you look longitudinally to one person so in 
what are the chances you get a position and how many years does it take for you to get a position? If you are, is it longer if you're a woman or not? And that would be maybe something that it would be also useful. Exactly, I, I agree on this, but I, I think we talk the same language. We, we, have, we have the barrier is how, how, how do you pass this, this one here? But that applies to the full university. How do we get more females into the permanent positions? That, that is the basic question. Uh, uh, so that is uh, what, what we're working on, and the only thing we can do here is that we recruit more females. And that is therefore all the action plans on the recruitment is very, very important. How is our recruitment processes? So that's one side of it. That's the only way we can pass this barrier. The next one is we need to have a culture that also invites the female in to think, well, actually, I, I, I want to work here. I think, and maybe this is a little bit too aggressive, but, but only recruitment may be a little bit naive. Um, and not and in the sense that once you are recruited, you need an internal support. And let's face it, sometimes you have to work against males within your environment that has enormous support of already existing professors around and that actually you know that's a positive thing actually so so when you I think the mentoring at the level of highest positions to actually make sure that the certain uh, persons do are not left behind is also important it's not only that you're recruited but once that you are recruited the, the, you, the department really wants you um, but, but that, that was it sorry that was uh... <laughs> That was uh, uh, the press. No. <laughs> uh, but that was exactly why I, I had two sentences. The one was recruitment, and the other one was the culture thing. So, so I think I, that addressed exactly what you were saying. I, I actually said both things because I think both things is important. Yes. Now I don't know who. I, someone is following the time, I guess, because. Uh, yes, sir, uh, you have uh, three minutes. Three minutes. Uh, then not too many questions. We'll just, just uh, we'll take one or more here because we also have a few slides of what we're doing. Actually, <laughs> uh, I don't know who is you. Yeah, I also want to add that sometimes we just focus on women instead of men, and we don't focus uh, most in how do they have to change their attitudes because it's impossible sometimes when you have a position in some place, even if you're a student in mostly these kind of careers, surrounded by men, to success, because you are shy to express yourself. And I came from a very uh, macho society. I'm from Mexico. And even here, I feel more comfortable when I talk with women, and also among women instead of men, because it's like I feel good. And for me, it's nicer to speak between women, and even if it happens here, I think that we have to focus more in that kind of uh, actions rather than the numbers. I mean, the numbers are important, but the culture and for men are more important than uh, women, and obviously it's in the both sides. But, but, but I think that's, that's exactly why, because you sort of said before, and I understand that, so it's not to defend myself, I'm just saying, before I addressed here engineering, computer science, digitization, these things, the more it goes into that direction, more difficult. Actually, the reason there is exactly what you addressed there, because there's fewer role models, there's fewer that you actually can identify yourself with with a career, and that makes it more difficult. So it was not to make any discrimination between fields and women relative to certain fields. It had nothing with that to do. What it has to do with the more you have it equally balanced, the, letter, uh, the, the easier it is for, 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 for those potential candidates to identify some. They say, well, I want to make a career like, like her or him. Or, 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 or so. So, so I think the role model is very important. So let's, let's try to go a little bit on because I have three minutes here. So we actually also try to do something. Uh, so in physics and astronomy and all like this here, uh, there's actually a focus on establishing a, a, a gender committee uh, that actually has extreme, math, uh, extreme much focus on uh, how do we address these things. It's, it could be a, a matter of, of words, as you also addressed before. We have to be very, very, very careful in our articulation. Is, is this a, 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 a challenge uh, track or is it a talent track? There could be things that... So what, what is it? Is it a challenge or a talent? 
Wordings is, is important, so they are looking very much on, on, on this. They try to put events up on the full faculty, try to put focus on this. So there's action points uh, uh, there. They also have a diversity committee at, at computer science addressing these issues. So there's, there's really a lot of attention to, to, to look into this. If you look at engineering, and this is sort of a role model I issue, uh, they are hiring in candidates. Uh, there's too few uh, 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 females hired in. We're working enormously on this. We have search committees. We have 300 applicants for, 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 for the positions. That means an enormous pool of applicants. Uh, 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 but that's not the same as we hire uh, 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 an, a sufficient amount of females. But those that is coming in here is one example from, from, uh, from uh, the engineering department female uh, recruit from Hamburg that is uh, doing a fantastic job uh, in, in all respects, fundraising, trying to establish cross activities, things like that. And I think some of these, uh, this just is one example, some of these dynam dynamics is, is very, very important uh, to, to, to get in. If we look at the more basic level, uh, uh, they're also working quite a bit. This is on the engineering school. Uh, they, they, they actually had a, a, an enormous uh, uh, increase in, 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 uh, in uptake of students, uh, uh, female students at the engineering programs, 46% increase uh, last year. Admittedly, saying from 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 22 to 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 30, so so the numbers are still low. But but, but I think what is important is that they, in all their branding, all their sort of trying to illustrate what is engineering. Uh, it is very very important to put up uh, focus on 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 that this is actually. Uh, 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 more diverse, uh, uh, so, so I think so. They are doing a fantastic job. They are also on the computer science. They have an IT camp for 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 for, 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 for girls. They're trying to uh, recruit in that is coming out from 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 the high school. They take them in, uh, uh, mainly mainly uh, female researchers. Uh, try to explain that computer science is not the same as having a, a T-shirt on and a little bit. Uh, uh, and uh, too much Coke and uh, Coca Cola, Coca Cola. What do you call it? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Coca Cola. So, so, so. It's also a matter of identity and, and trying to explain because we are working against also some 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 attitudes that come from high school and from primary school, etc. Something I think that's also important, that is we have a lot of focus on things that is important. And I think actually females are more, more, more clever than the males in some respects. They, they actually work to, work to work on important problems. So, so I think actually now we have much more focus on the SDGs, uh, the sustainability uh, development goals. I think some of these could also help uh, getting uh, attracted more, uh, more diverse uh, factors. I hope so. At least, let, let's see. I think trying to make a little bit diverse uh, uh, actually, for uh, in a relation to, to, to society, things we hope could also have an effect. You don't think, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Then we obviously also try to get uh, inspiration from external side. What, what are they doing in, in, in other, uh, other universities? And there's actually many, many universities that has exactly the same problems as we have. It is not unique Danish. We have an issue, but this is actually a global issue. So many, many places they have these issues and they try to attack them in different ways. Uh, try to establish different recruitment channels, different culture channels, different things. So we try to get inspiration from outside also to actually tackle this. We are not the only one that's in this boat. This is a, a, a global issue. Differs from country to country, get inspiration. So I think if we look at the challenges, that is recruitment, the recruitment base, it's also the job security in academia, uh, it could be a few uh, women in leadership positions at, at, at universities, it's all, all places here. So what we're trying to do is actually to cover these aspects, search committees, uh, expand the recruitment base, uh, uh, we, 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 we try to establish effects, uh, job security by career programs, and it could be mentoring programs, it could, uh, could be, 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 be different departments, different, different ways. And obviously we also uh, focus on recruitment uh, without uh, having this, this bias that we, we, we talk about everywhere, we try to set, set focus on this. And now uh, we come to uh, my last minute, I think uh, that's over. Uh, one minute, uh, so your idea is in one minute, so now you have to be very fast. Uh, yes? I have two questions. No, it's not an idea. Okay, it's okay. It's an idea too. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We uh, experts uh, in gender studies have demonstrated that we cannot ad address gender bias uh, separately from other categories like race. And 
Uh, on the other side, I, I am from arts, and my experience also in Denmark is that uh, open calls are not really open calls. Most of the open calls are not really open, open calls because departments are using different methods like, like sort listing to intervene the process. So just a few CVs arrive to the external uh, committee. I am wondering if the university is planning to address both issues. Uh, well, I think that these, these things are coupled. Uh, so, so you could say shortlist, you could say that's prohibitive somehow. But, but, but I think what you should look at it in a different way, at least that's how, how we look at it. That is, we want to have 300, 500 applicants for, for each call. And now if I go to a professor in another university and say, would you, would, would, would you like to, for a small fee, to evaluate 500 applications, uh, then I definitely get a no. In many cases, so so at least, at least uh, if we take no, I am, I am so 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 I think actually what we're doing is we are expanding the pool. We're trying to get many more applicants in, and then the shortlist I was, is. I was talking about these twenty applicants, and only three arrived to the to the external committee. Only okay, three. that's not the numbers we see. I think I don't know these numbers. I think that's not what we do. Typically, we have much larger pools. Yes. So uh, an idea maybe to uh, strongly suggest to look at. Um, University of Vienna, for example, so that's where I come from. And at Physics and Astronomy, we have used the model from uh, Vienna University to implement this gender quality. Yes. So there, there is such an office at the university level that is, um, that is part of every level, at students, master uh, students, PhD, and so on and so on, all the way to the top. These people are helping out with recruitment, they have to sit on committees and to make sure that gender bias is addressed at least, and to make sure that the, um, the short lists have at least a number of women and so on. So maybe this is, would be something that would be implemented at the university level, not just the departmental level. I think, so, so what I think uh, is happening right now, that is an enormous attention at the various departments tackling a problem that is actually very complex. So, so what we do right now is obviously we get the inspiration for what is working here and there. And then obviously those that the channels that is really working, that we should actually make, 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 make models for the full university. So I think uh, it is very, very good that in different departments they have different approaches to this and they try to get an experience base out of that so that we actually should take care of is scaled uh, to, 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 to a large But I think uh, at present, uh, uh, we, we take inspiration. Different departments all are in this process here taking inspiration from universities that they think is a good role model for how to solve this. Now, you do decide on the time here because there are several questions. So questions from Ashley and from Anna, and then we have, we have to stop. Good, because I would, <laughs> I would like to destroy your program. Uh, um, I just, I just uh, idea to follow up with Vicky. So, so each of the departments, some departments actually work really hard in this, like their uh, physics and astronomy is really good, but for instance, the ones I'm associated with do not have this. So I, my question would be for, or my idea for the action plan would be to have some sort of accountability or some sort of, because now, as far as I understand, and I could be wrong, what you end up getting at, at your level is sort of a report on who's been recruited, what the numbers were like, et cetera. But I was just, is there a way, or maybe that's something to think about, is a way to actually have some accountability with the action plan so it's not just a a pretty paper. I, I guarantee you there's accountability. So, so actually what we have is action plans with the, we also have definite targets and, and, and we have it up in all these, these, these fora here and, and, and now if certain departments is not following up to their ambitions then obviously we'll have to, 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 to make action on this. So that was also why I said before, uh, could it be that we should for search committees always have one female qualified candidate identified for, before we do something. We didn't do these actions yet because we thought in the first place it is by the ideas and voluntary basis, but now if we don't live up to our targets, then obviously we ha have a, an obligation as managers actually to take action. So yes, I can guarantee you that we'll look at them, yeah, not only look and say, ah, this, this is too bad and this is something, no, actually do something, yes. Uh, thank you, Ms. Kostin, for a nice presentation with a lot, lot of numbers and, and yes. red colors. Um, yes. I do agree with you that the culture is a very important area. And it's also a very difficult area because it's such a fluffy yes. phenomenon. Yes. So what is it really? So yes. could you put some words on, in your world, what is the ideal culture for AU at a broad level 
in, uh, in just the, in, on three levels. Let's agree it is artifacts, so it is values, and then it is taken for granted assumptions. <laughs> so, so now you want to, uh, what, half an hour? <laughs> well, I think, I, I, I think what, 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 culture, culture is something where, where you feel that, that, that actually you, there's room for you, uh, there's room for you to pursue your career and, 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 and your ideas. So I think actually, I would, I would rather take the measures to so try to probe, is this really a culture that, that is inviting for female applicants? And I think actually we have the problem that, that in many places, that could be role models, it could also be the language, it could be the way we have the attitudes. I think also what you addressed very much was, uh, and, and that, that is always dangerous when you stand up like, like I, I actually dare to do here, even <laughs> though the numbers are red. It's much more, it's much more, it's very important that we actually present the numbers, we dare to do it. We also address and take the, the battles when, when, for example, some of you said, well, now I put certain words on tough areas or whatever you said or something like that. So this is all of this is sickness. So we have to, to, to ourselves everywhere have to look at is are we sending the wrong signals? Culture is very much about having something that is really allowing uh, uh, people to be there, feel feel home uh, and, and actually want to put their life there. But, but what is researchers? What is our teachers, that is engage people that, that can signal out, they, they, they love to be where they are. Uh, and so, so that's that's the culture. Uh, it does go directly into your boxes, but I think there's many, many levels here we have to work on this. I hope you, uh, I'll end up now, uh, I hope at least I gave an honest presentation on how it looks. I hope also I convinced you, uh, I don't know whether that was successful, that we actually have very much uh, 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 focused on this, this issue. Uh, that we actually want and need to solve these issues here to get a good university for tomorrow. We also have to remember here we are educating people to society. That means eventually if we don't have the right culture and the right uh, balance, then we also risk that we transmit this to society. And that stuff is also an issue. So we take it extremely serious. At least I hope I convince you that. So thank you very much for your attention.